Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Janine. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own SVG files. I was getting ready to work on something, and then I thought, how about while I do it, I'm going to show you guys how to make your own. So, before we get started, if you have already, like, bought SGV files, found some free ones through other ones, and you didn't know about this trick that I saw on TikTok, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. And before we start, I will link every link or whatever I talk about in the description below so that you guys can find them easily. But if you have SVGs on your computer already, a lot of times they will look like this, this, or this with your Google Chrome or your Microsoft Edge, whichever one you use. I like to use Microsoft Edge most of the time. Sometimes I do use Google Chrome. So whichever one you make it from or whatever, it's going to look like this. So here's a trick that I saw on TikTok. You just open up whatever browser is your preferred browser. And you load it up. And then you're going to search for this. You're going to search get G-I-T S-V-G extension, which would be this one right here. And then this is going to pop up. And you're going to want to get this first one from GitHub. You're going to click on that. And then this is going to pop up, so you're just going to scroll down till you get to these. This one right here is the one you're going to want to click on. I have already done it to my computer, so I do not need to do it again. But it is this one, SGVCX64EXE. This is the one that you want right here. I will label that in the description, and I will leave a link to this direct website in the description below. When you download it, follow all the prompts that it's going to ask you on your computer, all that stuff, and when you do so, it'll show, I'll show you really quick on how all of mine pop up. So I'm just going to open my folder real quick, go to my images, and my files. So all my files look like this now with the pictures of the SGVs that I created using that or purchased or got from other sites which I will leave a link in the description below to a couple like loves SGVs and I'm not sure I have saved a few others because of that but so we're gonna go and I'm just gonna show you how I search for an image and then I turn it into an SVG file now I'm using Internet X, the Microsoft Edge if you prefer to Chrome everything will be the same steps whether you use this or Chrome I just prefer this one so I just search what I'm looking for and I'm looking for a deer head clip art if I could spell it right huh My brain moves faster than my fingers. Clip art black right here. This is what I want because I, I want it to be just a straight silhouette for what I'm doing. Then I just scroll through and I find one that I might like. I actually like this one. So I click on the picture and it pops up like this. And then I right click. I go to save image as. And then I put it in my folder where I save all my images for my Cricut and all that so then I just go to it's already up but usually I would search out my folder in here so the folder I want is right there so then I just save and it automatically saves it and I've already found a few so the next thing I do to turn it into an SVG is I use this site right here it's pick pick SVG and I will link that website in the description below for you and it pops up like this you come over here to upload image or upload picture and then you search your folders uh, just like that and like I said I have mine all pretty much labeled onto what I want so this was the one that we just found I'm gonna you can either double click or you can click it and then open this doesn't always happen to me, but when this happens, and I'm not 100% sure if this is just my computer or 
if it's the image itself, but I will show you how we can still clean that image up in Cricut Design Space in another video. So let me find another one that'll work for you. Let's see. What do you want to do? Nope, that one won't work. There we go. That one's going to work. I know, like I said, I don't know if it's my computer, if there's a, something I need to do to it, or if it's the image itself. But this one works, so then it's going to come up and it looks just like this. I always set my features to strong. And then for this, I come all the way down to ready three. And then this is the image that it has. Now you can click download SGV and it's going to go to whatever your download file is. Since I want to save it to a specific spot, I click on this little uh, magnifying glass with the arrow with the plus sign in it and it opens up the file like that. So then I right click and then I hit save image as and then I come over here and I put it in my SGV folder. And I always label them. So that one's deer head. I just label them for myself, but they're all there. And then you just click save. And then it's there. And I will show you where it's at in my file. So I just come over here. Open up my file where they're all at. And scroll down to my D's and deer head there's the one that i just i just made and they all pop up without see most of them pop up like this this one and this one i'm not sure how i did those and why they didn't change but with that extension that i showed you they all show up as the pictures that they are instead of this before all of my before i found that out all of mine were in this format here, so I had to search the names and all that. So that extension was a total game changer because now it's so much easier to find my images. So there's that. And I will do another one just to show you how easy we can just keep rolling through them. So I close this one out because I don't need that. Scroll back up, go to upload image, and then I pick another one. And then it pops up, so we go to strong. And then I always go ready three, because that's gonna give me the cleanest and most, um, the clean and most accurate lines for that. So then again, I'm gonna click here. I'm going to right click, save image as, and then Just give it a name and then save it. And then it goes right to my file and I just close out those at the bottom because they're not important. So then it just goes to my saved file. Now, this is how I make my own. Again, this website will be linked in the description below as well as the one to the extension so that you can actually see the pictures because it also works with ones like, here's the one site. Uh, loves SGV. I will leave a link for this in the description below as well. It's just loading. My link is a little old. I actually have to make a new link. But free SGV cut files here is what you want to click on. And then there's, as it shows, is there's over 10,000 files from this site that you can just click on and download them and you could uh, purchase a commercial license for them if you want to be able to sell the images but they have so many ones these are just the most recent ones from wording text to others and full color and they are all SGV files I will leave a li link to this website in the description below for you guys um, trying to think this is a pretty quick short one I just wanted to show you how to create the SGV file and to do that 
so that you have it if you just want to use a Google image but I will also show you how to clean up an image in design space in my next video this one is just how to use that site and how to create your own SGB file this way so I got hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you and if you liked it please don't forget to hit a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little bell notification I've got a lot of videos coming out over the next course of the next couple of months that are different than what I've done in the past and I believe you guys are going to enjoy them so hit the thumbs up I will also be leaving a link to my PayPal in the description below if you wanted to donate and help me keep the channel going and all that it would be a greatly appreciated as well as that thumbs up the algorithms love the thumbs up so please hit that thumbs up and as always happy crafting